Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of the Witch Doctor's Guide to Service Now. Uh, today we're going to do a quick dive into something called Set Workflow, which you use when you do coding. And if you know how to use it, I guess you only need to hear this next line and then you can actually spend your time on looking at some other videos instead of this one. If you don't have a clue on how it works or you just want to tag along and see what I'm talking about, feel free to, to continue watching the video. But the main thing is that a colleague to me found out that in Paris, the set workflow actually affects flows as well, which it didn't, 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 didn't do pre-Paris. So a quick walkthrough on my PowerPoint presentation before we do the fun stuff. If you haven't seen my videos or heard me before, my name is Goran Lundqvist, AKA the Witch Doctor. Uh, just a quick resume of what I'm doing, what I've done. If you, if we're not connected, feel free to just connect me on LinkedIn or wherever you want to connect me through, I guess. Uh, I won't spend more time here. If you want to see, you can, you can take a look at it. Uh, so of course, how does it work and what's the new stuff that actually showed up in Paris that actually threw our world around a little bit because we didn't expect that behavior. So let me just fix one more thing that I forgot to do. Hold on and I'll just do it like this. So for this show, I basically have two instances. One is uh, Orlando. So you can see how it looks, works pre-Orlando. And then my other one is uh, a Paris version. Uh, yeah, there we go. So I won't go into any super deep uh, coding. So let's just show you first of all. So this one is actually used. The set workflow is used when you don't want to trigger like business rules or the old workflows for that case. And uh, when you update or create a record through coding. So if this one could load or my mouse could be on the right monitor. There we go. So I'll just hit new, just to get that the Intel sense stuffy when we write code. So I'll just do something more, get that. New glide record incident. And I'll do, let's just fetch one. Dr. Dot that limit one there we go and then let's we want to update this one for example and normally we do something like this now if i do and like this just in your dot ooh I just remember, let me fetch, we can actually see what we're doing. So this is the list of incidents. So, and here you can see just uh, doing some testing earlier when I was supposed to make this video, probably well, just a month later, I guess. Uh, let's put in, I just put in the date time so you can see that it's being updated, but let's do that. So we do set value, Short description, and I'll just do that. New blade. So if I just update one like this, update, and I'll save. So by default, of course, the, the set workflow is false. Uh, and that means that it will, of course, always run business rules and so on. Let me just turn down Slack. Uh, I have no clue how to do that. Never mind. Uh, I'll hit save and I'll hit run. Proceed. Close and let's go. Uh, Look at the incidents. Updated. There we go. 
we can see number 60 and if i run it again let's just look at the time we can see that it's 20 20 25. i'll run it again and here you can of course see stuff being triggered that's the next thing i'm going to show you is and there you can see number six update again now to just show that things actually run i have configured a business rule that basically just puts in a log saying that hey i'm running um you can see i'm just putting it in in uh, info record in the log and i also built a flow that will run as well let that one load so basically and just get this one up here and, run. and here you can see we have uh, the flow triggered and we have the business rule triggered and for the flow you can see that we have this flow as well and it basically just triggers on an updated incident and yeah i'll just put a log one as well so let's take and use that nice set workflow then. so in your set workflow and you can see it actually says what it does so if you set this one to false business rules workflows won't run but if you are pre-paris flows will sadly trigger anyway so if we do false let's save run script proceed and now we can see that the flow is being triggered and if we look at the logs i'll just go into use oh not that one uh, both i really like this one when i'm looking at stuff so now you can see just now now you can see that the flow triggered but we don't have the business rule triggered so that's how it works and now if we go to my other instance and i'll just going to take this one copy that one and go to fix script i can do scripts now since i got the code and you've seen it there we go i'll just paste that one in i'll run And I wasn't logged in anymore. That's kind of weird since it did update, right? Put this one up and running, and we'll see that this one just got updated. And if we look at the logs, there shouldn't be anything. You can see I ran the script but nothing else is coming around so if i go back and uh, where was it this one goes, can i do no there we go so if i set this one to true or remove the row that's the same thing the logs should be there and now we can see that we actually triggered the flow and we can see already here the, the business rule logs is showing up as well so when i hit the logs you can see we got the flow and we got the business rule but that's good to know because we have built stuff that didn't really count on flows not being stopped that they were being run so we had to build the logic in the flows to handle that one as well 
Uh, another good place to know about this that is using it and it's not in code is actually transfer maps. Um, let me just pull one on. You have a checkbox that actually calls run business rules. This one is basically doing the set workflow in the background. So if I uncheck this one, no business rules, flows, if it's in Paris, all workflows will run when you import the data and insert that or update it into tables. Uh, so if we are, are on Orlando, checking this or unchecking it doesn't reflect flows. Flows will always trigger. But in Paris and in the future, it will do that. That's a really nice uh, thing to know about as well. This one got our attention as well. So that's about it, what I was going to show you about the, the set workflows today. Uh, so hopefully we'll see you around soon for uh, another video.